The golf shaft is one of the most important aspects of a golf club. It impacts how the ball flies, it impacts where you actually hit it on the club face, and it impacts just how it feels through transition and impact. Yeah, no one really cares. Everyone just cares about this little thing here. The shaft, however, is a lot more important than you think. And the one I've got today is the most popular on the PGA Tour. The rise of the Ventus shaft by Fujikura has been happening over the last few years, and it truly is happening quickly. Why I find this most interesting is because no PGA Tour player that I know of is really affiliated with a certain shaft brand. They are free to choose whatever they want. When you've got Roy McIlroy, Tiger Woods, John Rahm, people like that just saying, this club's the best, this club's the best, they're sponsored by them. The shaft they use is completely different. And this is the most popular shaft. The Ventus Black is the most popular shaft on the the PGA Tour. But why? We'll talk about the entire Ventus range, but then I'll get onto this Ventus Black and hit some shots here. What I find really interesting right now is you'll never have a complete 100% take on of all the shafts, but the top three players in the world, as of right now at this video, all use some Ventus shafts. Scotty Scheffler, Ventus Black. We've got Cameron Smith uses the Ventus TR Blue, and then we've got Roy McIlroy, the Ventus Black as well. In terms of the top 10, we've then got Victor Hovland as well. So 40% of the top 10 players in the world use a Ventus shaft. That's big. And the big thing about this Ventus shaft, the Ventus Black, Red, and Blue, there's three offerings for you, is that it tightens shot dispersion and it maximizes the club head MOI. A forgiving driver shaft, who'd have thought? There's tons and tons of technology that goes with this, but the most interesting is the VeloCore technology. Now, a lot of you who will have used this shaft before actually would have seen maybe some stock offerings with them. There's a big difference here, such as TaylorMade who offer the Stealth and Aventus Red. It doesn't come with the VeloCore technology, and that actually is a quite a big difference. So keep a lookout if you're looking for a Ventus shaft, make sure it has the VeloCore technology. But what's so important about this VeloCore technology? What makes it a stable, forgiving shaft? So VeloCore within this Fujikura Ventus shaft is a multi-material bias core construction technique which actually makes the shaft through transition and then impact gives it its ultimate stability and that's why you have ultimate forgiveness you're able to load the shaft and really just hit the maximum moi of the club head because you just hit it in the middle of the club face every single time supposedly i'm gonna hit a few shots here and put it to the test i have been using this shaft for the last few weeks and it's extremely positive we've got the full swing launch monitor here we've got about 350 yards on a day like today that actually may be too much club hitting a driver. That just shows the smash factor with about 125 mile an hour club head speed, it goes a long way. And one thing I have noticed is the consistency of the club head speed and ball speed is something that's a little bit different to other shafts that I've tried. Right, let's give this a go, shall we? I've just been waiting for about 45 minutes for the, <laughs> for the green to clear. Got the full swing launch monitor here, 350 yards downhill. Let's have a go. Just straight at it. A bullet so those are really good numbers there we can see 124 mile an hour club head speed with 177 mile an hour ball speed i did bottom it a little bit and you can see the total there 312 yards it kind of reflects that but bottomed it i didn't hit it i didn't tow it it's still in that kind of diamond center that i want to get it to get a good smash factor smash factor there about 1.4 anything above 1.4 i'm happy with let's hit another good strike as well just pulled it a little bit but it's at those left trees I think that'll be a pretty equidistant in terms of that. A little bit better that one there. So we've got 180 mile an hour ball speed there, which is pretty good. It looks like I'm swinging out of my socks, but what I think this Ventus shaft is able to do is you're allowed to swing it 100% and you're not worried about the, the consequences, let's say. When you talk about Roy McIlroy, John Rahm, they're saying they're swinging it 100%. It's not a long drive swing, but they're swinging within themselves as much as they can. And you can see here, that's what I'm doing as well. This would be my course swing at 124 miles an hour, 180 mile an hour ball speed as well, good spin, and then about 315 or so yards. Pretty decent. Little bit bottomy again, but I think that was okay. Yeah, that's okay. And we're looking at the numbers there. With that ball speed staying pretty consistently at about 180 miles an hour or so, you're noticing a trend here. I don't necessarily think I hit that one that well. The ball speed and the smash factor shows otherwise. The Ventus shaft with the VeloCore technology, not forgetting the Stealth Plus as well, never gonna forget that, really is an all around package, which has given me quite a good amount of performance. We've hit three there. They're all gonna have hit the fairway. I'm not gonna complain. We're gonna hit these ones with, try and get up to a little bit harder and just show you, I'm gonna go all out here basically. I'm gonna hit my all out 100% swing, basically if it's like a wide open fairway and just see what happens in terms of the smash factor. <laughs> that's in the road. I hit that one well, but it's so far left, so that's on me. Uh, the numbers are good though. Numbers at 180 ball speed. So even if um, you're a bad player like myself, you're still getting some good numbers there. I think it's, uh, it's worthwhile to leave that one in just to show. Maybe it's not best to go as a long drive swing. One more for the day. 
and a really good one to finish. A little bit bottomy again, it's consistent, but numbers there again, 124 mile an hour club head speed, 175 mile an hour ball speed, going 310 yards. You're noticing a trend within all of these numbers here. And I would say that they're probably the best numbers that I've got in a session five or six balls, they're all pretty much exactly the same. I think that's pretty impressive. Now, you've seen me review the Stealth Plus, you've seen me review other things. I think the difference here is the shaft. Hard to be sure, but it has made a little bit of a difference in terms of my consistency. So you can see by the selection of shots there that they were very good. For someone with my handicap, I wouldn't be expecting them to be so tight in their dispersion. But with one big miss, my, my fault completely, the other four, as you can see here, were near or nearabouts to the green. With what was quite a difficult hole, probably not a driver hole, that's given me five or 10 to 20, 30 yards or so for an eagle chip. This data, this testing is never anything conclusive because I'm not a robot. I'm not doing thousands upon thousands of golf balls. But in my experience over the last four weeks of testing the Fujikura Ventus Black, I have noticed a difference. The question is, is it worth it for amateur golfers? Now, it's a very difficult question because year upon year, there's a lot of you, myself included, who go towards the new equipment and I ogle over them. Ogle over the new tailor-made stealth, Callaway, Cobra, Titleist, PXG. Never the shafts. And why is that? Perhaps next time when you're thinking of upgrading your driver, upgrade the shaft because you'll be very surprised as to how big the difference is. I'm gonna continue using the Ventus Black 6X for the next six months or so. I've also got two shafts here. I've got a 47 inch shaft and a 45 inch shaft. So if you wanna see the difference between that, I've already posted a little video about it, which I'll put the link somewhere on this screen here. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video today, let me know. And if you have any feedback from this testing, if you want to see a different type of testing, let me know down in the comments as well. If you are new to Golf Magic, please subscribe. It helps me out massively and leave a like as well. If you want to request any sort of videos coming up in the next few months, drop a comment as well. Well, to the next video guys, I'll see you later.